Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about turning the Link State Power Management on or off on your Windows 11 computer. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So a little bit of background, the Link State Power Management. Basically, it's part of the PCI Express and works with the Active State Power Management. And it allows you to adjust the power settings when your system is turning on or turning off. So whether it's waking up or going into sleep mode. And that just adjusts it a little bit. And there's even further settings about if your system is either plugged in or unplugged from a power source. So pretty straightforward process. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Start off by opening up the search menu and search for control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. So go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons, and then select the power options button. You want to select where it says change plan settings for whichever plan is currently activated. And then select where it says change advanced power settings. You want to expand the PCI Express section here. And then there should be a link state power management option. So as you can see, it says specifies the active state power management policy to use for capable links when the link is idle. Click the little plus sign to expand it. And now if you click inside where it says the setting, currently our setting is currently moderate power savings. Click inside the drop down. So you have three options here. So the first option is off. Off just means that there's no power saving and the current will flow all the time. If you select moderate power savings, which is the default for a balanced plan, power saving will be less, but the time for a computer to wake up will be high. And then the maximum power saving option, the power saving will be high, but the time for a computer to wake will be low. So those are the three options you have to work with here. And then you would select apply and OK if you had to make any changes. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.